Hello, how you doing? Um, I wanted to read just a couple little things about faith because um, my dad last week, last Thursday and Friday, he fell both days and hurt himself really bad. And um, he went to the hospital and he's still in the hospital. But um, he wasn't doing very good. And boy, I was praying and praying and praying. And uh, I know God will help him. And I know God, I know God hears my prayers. I know he does. And, um, but I got to talk to him yesterday. And, and he started, he's really sick. And he got COVID too. I don't know if that was exactly when that happened. But he, they said he tested positive for COVID. Well, he's had it before. But um, he's still in the hospital, and he's real sick sounding, but at least I got to talk to him yesterday, and he is starting to do better, where he, he, wasn't, he wasn't doing very good. <laughs> anyway, I just want to read these couple of things, and I'll write it in the description box below about faith. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw a fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe, that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. When you pray, you have to believe. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have aught against any. As your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you of your trespasses. But if you for, don't forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. And here's the other one. Because it came to me last night. There's so many. There's so much in here about faith. But here's just one more. A woman having an issue of blood 12 years which has spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood staunched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged me and pressed thee and sayest thou who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I received I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. And the woman, when she saw that she was not in, she came trembling and fell down before him and declared all, declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her daughter, Be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. God hears everything we say, whether it's good or bad, He hears it. When we pray, and I'm still learning this, and I'm still, I have a work in progress. I am, I'm not, when I say stuff, I'm not saying it. I'm including myself. When I pray, I have to start making myself believe more and stick because sometimes I'll just get to crying and begging and uh and I'm I get so scared. I get a fear come on me. And that's the devil. He doesn't want he doesn't want us to believe. He is afraid of believers. He doesn't want anybody to believe in God. He doesn't want anybody to pray to him. But I'm starting to realize when that happens, instead of sitting there and keep on pleased or saying what I'm saying, I start thinking. I start saying thank you. And I thank you, and I thank you, and then that bad, scared feeling will go away. He hears us. He loves us. He sent his son. God sent Jesus to forgive us of our sins because 
His blood is the only thing that can forgive us of our sins. The blood of goats and bulls and all the animals couldn't do it. It, it. it would not affect your heart. But the love of Jesus is so strong. It will convict your heart where the animals couldn't. Believe in Jesus Christ. Come to him. When you pray, ask and believe. Start Thank him. When you ask the prayer, I'm starting to try to do this too. I'm having to work on myself. When you pray and you ask for something, then you start thanking him for it. You start thanking him for it and believe it and and not sit there and doubt and, and thank him and think, well, it ain't going to happen, but I'll thank you anyway. No, that, no. The one way to please God the most is to have faith. And I, I should have looked that up, but I didn't. I hope you believe. You have to believe. You have to believe. And that makes God happy when you believe. Believe in Jesus. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Repent. Don't want to do them no more. Just because you ask forgiveness and you, you're forgiven doesn't mean you can keep doing your sins. There's some people that they like their sins, what the things they do. Oh, well, everybody does it. It ain't that bad. Well, you know what? It probably is because you're not supposed to be like everybody. Come to, come to Jesus. Believe in Jesus. God created everything. Jesus spoke it all into existence. He sat there. I'm trying to read the Genesis right now, and I'm about finished with it. About how everything was created. Everything. The air, there's nothing that, that is on this earth that wasn't created by God. That's animal or people or now machinery. That's something else. But you know what I'm trying to say. Everything on the ground that's growing... The mountains, everything. And you can move mountains if you have strong enough faith. You have to have faith. You have to believe. You have to have faith. And I have faith that I will get to see my dad. I'm going to try to go see him pretty soon. So if you don't see me around or I'm not putting stuff out, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I'm not having... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not having a chance to do it. <laughs> Good grief. I love each and every one of you. Please believe when you pray. Please believe. And things will happen. It will happen. It will. The more I can believe, the better my prayers are answered. And I mean, he's always with me and he's always answering my prayers. And maybe not exactly the way I want or right at the exact moment, but they do happen. And if they don't, I'm so thankful because it's usually something that, I, that I'm so thankful didn't happen. But God is good. He is listening to you. He he's waiting for you to believe, so he will answer your prayer. If if things didn't bad things didn't happen, we wouldn't pray to him. 